Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing the application called Screen from Video Village. It's a niche but very professional professional video player. Yeah, there, there's a thing like that. But before that, I will tell you a story how I found this and why do I need this. So sometimes I need to reorganize, check, send to a client or manage the files from Canon R5, which is C raw or CRM files and I need some player that could play them just like quick time I thought okay I can easily find that player a small one or a part of a big player maybe I plug into a quick view or something like that and I went online and I searched and couldn't find anything not a single player that could play CRM files. I remember a few weeks ago, I saw the application called Scream from Video Village. So I didn't expect anything. I went to the website, checked the application, and I saw, among other, lots of professional format, I saw the CRM file. I was really, really surprised. I asked for a trial, and within a few minutes, I thought, this is the app, which I didn't know existed, didn't know I needed, but I must have. And you can decide for yourself if you need this app, if you like this app after my review, and I hope my review will be helpful for you. So what do we have here? A welcome screen, a very minimalistic, recent movies, version 1715, that's what I'm recording with, black design, which I really like, stylish. It looks like a DaVinci Resolve style, which I really like, professional. So double click on the file, and it's open super fast, even if it's seven gigabytes. There's a play option to play slow reverse and forward. If you press here, you see the controls. So first one is a color, input LUT, output LUT, and management mode. All the LUTs are coming from DaVinci, or you can use your own custom uh, folder. Cinema Gamma, Log3 to BT709. I can use straight away, and I can play that with no problem. I really like this back arrow, which allows me to quickly go back to the normal view instead of, you know, looking for well, where is this normal view or something. Also, the windows is detached. It's only one window at a time. So next one is aspect, crop, media, orientation and transform. So aspect is like this, crop for cropping. So 239 by 1, which is my favorite one. Mode, orientation, you can quickly Rotate it left, right, flip, and flop as well. Next one, decoding quality. This is really cool because usually players try to play with a full decoding quality. It's really cool that it has a half and quarter quality, so at least I can play it. Let's see it's quarter. Let's see on half. Yeah, it's still playing. So perfect. Gamma, which is already guessed it's log, Canon log 3. And color space, you can use the color space. Next one, time code. So time code from zero, that's my preferred method, but you can use time code from original file or frames from original file or frames from a zero. Okay, whatever you prefer. Next one is inspect. You do you can do a gamma shift, exposure shift. You can see channels and use a gamma shift and exposure shift on channels whenever you want. Also, there is a magnification, like that, and enabling pixel perfect, so you see it's a little bit better. And you can do a pixel magnification even further by option and moving the mouse, and while it's playing. Next one is audio. My clip is without audio, but if you have, so there, is a, there will be a option for the audio. And the last one, but not the least, is a basic info and metadata for my particular clip. Also, there is command plus and command minus. While we're here, I can show you how to do the screenshots. You press control, you click the mouse and a drag, and here we go. But screenshots are decoder quality related. So if it's half, it will be also half. If it's full, you can see the full screenshot. Let me show you. So, press the screenshot, press that screenshot, you see it's uh, blurred, but the same size. But if you go for a quarter, you can see a smaller screenshot. On the left, we have a playlist, 
So I can drop files here. I also can add group and group inside the group and so on and so forth. So you can easily manage your files. There's also sorting by name, duration, video codec, width and height, and ascending and descending as well. On the right side, we have markers. I already put one, but you can also delete it and add some new marker. Press M for new marker, press M. If you double click on a marker, you can change the color. It's similar to DaVinci. You can also select all the markers and delete them all. If you go to screen and settings, you can see the settings for general, playback, color, screenshot. And there is a lot of settings. Basically, my theory is that those guys know what they're doing and they done this player for themselves and because they like it, they release it to the masses. Because it looks like, even from the settings position, it looks like there is a professional people doing a professional video player for professional people. So you can manage all the settings and do whatever you want to do and organize the player as you like. Another feature of display is called barcode. So you can, I already generate barcode, but you can regenerate it and you see. To be honest, I don't really need that, nor do I see the potential of that in my, in my work. It's first it's taking quite a long time to do it in even a 30 seconds clip. And it, you see, it's all one color for me, so it doesn't really do anything, but it described here and as you can see it's more for a film or advertising where there's a lot of cuts and a lot of different um, clips but anyway it's there and you can use it as you wish obviously there is a full screen preview and play another interesting thing that I can toggle the lat when it played which is similar as DaVinci command D even the same shortcut. You can even trim a video by doing in and out points and export this. Talking about export, see you can export here with the H.264, H.265 and ProRes codecs using the wrapper of MP4, QuickTime, do a K-framing in seconds, intervals, average bitrate, you can uncheck it and use your own duration, color, sizing. You can do also your custom sizing. So to be honest, if you have this, there is no need to open up DaVinci Resolve and export that. So you can do it inside this player, which makes it really useful. Interesting feature of skip TC forward, skip TC backward. If you just press plus, you get plus and you type the number, let's say 200, I think it's frames or maybe seconds, and you can skip it. If you press minus, you get minus 200, and you go back. If you press S, you can toggle the pixel sampler. You can see the value here. There's an option to zoom in and zoom out in the timeline, so you can pinpoint the exact frame you need. And I also didn't mention, but almost every single control here, settings or something, have their own keyboard shortcut. Another super interesting and unique feature is the play from URL. So you have a plugin for Safari. If you press on that, it will look for the videos in URL and could play it in this player. Also download the file. It takes some time to get it done, but when it's done, you can play it in your computer and the file is also downloaded to your disk. Here it is, you can play it. And here's the file. What review would be without talking about some things which I think could be improved? So my biggest disappointment in, in this particular version is that I cannot see any like icon of preview of zero or even B row. Okay, so Blackmagic Design RAW and Canon RAW 
I can't see them. Even if the Da Vinci have small previews, also I would love to see the same thing as the Da Vinci when you can, you know, have a bigger preview, you can sort it out, you know, have a, like a grid or something because it's really, I think it's really cool what Da Vinci does with the preview system. Another thing which I really love to see, for example, I don't really need markers so much. I don't use markers in the player. So maybe I can somehow customize this. So this panel could be an expert panel. So if I press here, I can see all the expert settings and I just quickly can export. It would be a great idea if, uh, if somebody wants to use the marker, they can use the marker. If somebody wants to use as me export, they can choose where to like customizing the right and left panels for the needs what they really need. So another thing which I really, really want to have in this particular player is to some kind of just a simple waveform, which can also be detached, something like that. So you can put here or outside of the player. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is the price. It's quite steep. It's 165 US dollars or depending on your country, maybe it's in Euro, it's something around that, let's say 150, 160 US dollars, which is for video player, I think it's quite, quite much, even for the brilliant video player as this one, maybe less than a hundred, I don't know. But beside that, I think it's really, really solid uh, player. I think is the best player I saw and it's already became my default player for anything uh, video related. And I hope to use it more in the future. I hope you like my review and I hope it was useful for you. And I hope you have information for yourself to decide to get this player or not.